So you want to get BSL shaders, and honestly, I don't blame you. It is by far one of the best shaders packs out there, in my opinion, and I mean, look how beautiful it is. You've got shadows, you've got volumetric clouds, the sun looks great. It's, it's, it's amazing. So how do you get this? Well, first things first, you want to go download BSL shaders. Luckily, the second link in the description down below will take you here. This is ModRenth, and on ModRenth, we can easily click on versions up here at the top, and then we can find the version we want. As you can see, we have 1.7.0. 10 to 1.20 supported here, meaning you'll want the most recent version. So just go ahead and click on it, and then click on the green download file here. While BSL Shaders is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We have one-click installation of mod packs. You can add mods, plugins, and if you have any issues along the way, we have live chat support to help you out, on top of a super in-depth help center. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz yz slash sgh to start your very own minecraft server the simple way nevertheless bsl shaders has now finished downloading you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser from there we need optifine now there are basically two primary ways to install shaders one is optifine that's what we'll be doing here the other is iris BSL Shaders works with Iris as well, so it's really up to you which one you use. We're going to be using Optifine here. So go to the third link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on Optifine. We go over how to use Optifine, how to fix different troubleshooting issues that you may have along the way, and we're going to be going over the basics of things in this video, but if you do have any issues, that's why this guide is here. Nevertheless, go ahead and click on Download Optifine, and that will take you to the official Optifine download page. Now, currently, the most recent version of Minecraft is 1.20, but in the future this tutorial will still work, but the version might not be the same. However, if you do want to do this for an older version, it also will work. I believe it'll work at least back until 1.12-ish. I don't know about before then, but it generally should. However, no matter what version of Optifine you're downloading, find it and then go ahead and click the mirror link next to it. That will take you to the official download page for that version of Optifine. Click on the download button here and Optifine will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save it again, depending on your browser, but as you can see, it is now downloaded. From there, we want to go ahead and minimize our browser and let's move Optifine and BSL to our desktop. To do that, you want to go ahead and go to your downloads folder and then just drag and drop these to your desktop, right like so. And we're going to be starting off with Optifine. Now, in order to do that, just right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, don't worry. It's not a big deal. We have a link in the description down below to this. This is how to get Java. Now, currently, that's Java 17, but in the future, it may be Java 20 or 21 or 22. Who knows what it'll be in the future? But whatever version of Java is here is the one that you need for Minecraft, specifically Minecraft mods, which, of course, shaders and Optifine are Minecraft mods, so you need this version of Java. You may also need to run the jar fix. All this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, but it's helpful to run after getting Java installed just to make sure everything's working properly. Nevertheless, just right click on on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Now, the Optifine installer will open. All you've got to do here is click Install, and it will work. Sometimes it won't, though, and if it doesn't, it's because either Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed, and make sure that you've played Minecraft for the version of Optifine you're installing. So if you're installing Optifine 1.25, and you've never played Minecraft 1.25 before, go play it, come back, and then you'll be able to install Optifine. But as you can see, we can go ahead and click OK to close out of Optifine and delete Optifine from our desktop. Now, let's get our shader pack installed. To do this, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, in the Minecraft Launcher, you will have an Optifine installation. If you don't, I'll show you how to make one, but as long as you installed it via the installer there, which you just did, you should have Optifine. As you can see, if we go to Installations, we want to make sure that Modded is checked here, and then when it is, we have the Optifine installation. 1.20.1-Optifine, click Play, and click Play again. But if you don't have Optifine here, go ahead and click on New Installation. Now, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com. Because that is the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server. Mod packs, mods, plugins, anything you want. You can do it at Simple Game Hosting. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and then click the version drop down box. Now, what you want to do here is select the version of Optifine you installed. In my case, it's 1.20.1 Optifine. It could be 1.30.4 for you in the future. It doesn't matter what it is, but the version of Optifine you want to select is the one that you installed. And for me, it's right here. You may need to scroll down to find yours. But then once you've got that selected, I'm going to change my resolution, but you can click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.1 Optifine under it, or again, 1.30 or whatever version you're installing. 
Hover over this, click play and click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Optifine. That's the hardest part. The hardest part of getting shaders is getting Optifine. Now that you have Optifine, it's super easy to get your shader installed. I will go ahead and meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show you how to do exactly that. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu, and once we're here, we can just click on options, and then you want to go to video settings and shaders. Once we do that, we will be able to see this is where all of our shaders will end up being. Click on shaders folder in the bottom left, and that will open up your shaders packs folder here. Again, that was from the Minecraft main menu. Click on options, video settings, shaders, and then click shaders folder in the bottom left. Now just drag and drop BSL into the shader packs here. Once you've done that and go back to Minecraft, there it is. We can now just go ahead and click on it and it will activate the shader pack. Now you can click in the bottom right to go to shader options and change things. Make it more performant, less performant, and change even specific settings. Once you've done that, click done, click done again, and we can go check out this shader pack. Now, once we're in game, you'll be able to see instantly that the shader pack is working and it looks great. I mean, BSL, like I said, is just such a beautiful, truly beautiful shader pack. And I mean, you can see the leaves even moving in the wind there. Now, if you did want to change your shader options in game, you can do that. Just go into options, video settings, shaders, and you can edit those shaders options here and kind of see what's going on in the background. For example, if we switch to low here, go to done and then come back out, things don't look as good. Still look good, but not as good as they did on ultra, for example. But nevertheless, that is how you can get BSL shaders in Minecraft. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.